Today, Stephen Miller, Trump's senior uh, White House advisor, repeated claims by the president that voter fraud occurred during the election three months ago. And that's the reason he lost the popular vote. Um, these claims are being seen as unsubstantiated. And it's kind of interesting to talk about somebody that's not Trump in one of these videos, even though I know I've done that in the past, but there's really nothing from him at all today um, in the way of just statements that he's made and claims and other, uh, you know, ways, manners of addressing things. Now, I'm of the belief that if there was voter fraud, um, we would have heard about it by now and had proof of it. Obviously, we found out that some people were registered in two states. We found out that some people who are dead are registered to vote. And we've seen elections in the past that have been uh, determined or otherwise compromised by people who are not living. <laughs> How do you explain that phenomenon? Those people resurrect to cast a ballot and they go, oh, bye bye. No, they're, they're, they're people voting in their place and using their names. So what he's saying Yes, it's unsubstantiated. We have no proof of this, but it's very plausible that that happened. I think this goes back to what Trump's critics were saying, which is, and that was a notification on my phone. I apologize for you showing off my, you know, magnificent hand. Um, there is this, you know, frequent critique of Trump that he'll say things without having proof. Voter fraud really isn't something that I'm I'm going to go after him for alleging because... On one hand, yes, it's bad to think that stuff is rigged. On the other hand, stuff <laughs> a lot of times is rigged. I mean, we go to the Democratic primary with these super delegates, people that, you know, make no sense in a democracy to even exist in those positions. So I, I really can't go and say, oh, no, he's just, it's all crazy Trump. Um... But yeah, I, I think that he, they need to find some proof on this. He can come back with that later. Now, I don't think it's a good time to worry about it. My biggest concern is what he's doing now, and that should be his biggest concern. So he needs to leave this under the, under the water. You won. You're president now. You've been president for almost a month. Let's go.